So whoever controls the framing controls the sale. So what is framing? So we're sitting across from a prospect. Or you're standing across from a prospect for that matter. Framing just means their narrative of what's happening, right? Your narrative of what's happening could be different than the person next to you and the person behind you. Right now, this very minute, your narrative of what's happening could be different than the person next to you or behind you, even though we're all in the same room hearing the same things, right? So framing is important. So let's teach you the three different frames. There's something called pre-framing, how the consultation will go. Here's why. Remember we talked about that reptilian mind? They go, hey, I'm interested in personal training or boot camp. I want to lose weight. I, I heard that you're, you're good, and I see all your before and after pictures. Great. I am good. Those are my before and after pictures. I'm a badass at what I do. Well, um, yeah, so how does this work? Well, why don't you come on in, three free workouts. We'll see if we're going to be a good fit together. Their antenna's up. Ooh. Ooh, what's going to happen when I come in? So if you finish that sentence, and when you come in, First 10 minutes, we're going to fill out a PARQ, which is a physical activity readiness questionnaire. Then we're going to do this liability waiver. And then I'm going to introduce you to the pieces of equipment that we have in our facility. And then you're going to do your first of three workouts. You can almost feel them ah, relaxing. Pre-framing means telling them how it's going to go. Otherwise, their pucker factor is at level 10. Right? You guys understand that? Has that ever happened to you? Like, oh, man, I'm about to go to a dentist. I don't know what, what they're going to say. Imagine if your dentist is like, hey, when you show up, first we're going to do this, x-ray, then we're going to clean, then we're going to floss, then we're going to review your x-rays, and then if you have any cavities, we're going to schedule an appointment for another day. Whew. Okay, no drills today, right? You unpucker, and you get in your car, and you show up. Yeah. You can all picture a butthole puckering and unpuckering right now, right? Yeah. Just called visualization. Yeah. It's perfect for right before dinner. This is how I get you guys to eat less and maintain your felt physiques. Yeah. So pre-framing is really important. Right? If you look at the email that I sent out to you guys yesterday, and as we were getting closer to the Fitness Business Summit, hey, there's going to be a cocktail party. Here's the times. Here's what you're going to do at the cocktail party. Here's what time you want to go and register. In the evening and in the morning, get your name badge, get your bag, get your T-shirt. We give you the schedule for tomorrow. That's pre-framing. So you know what's coming up. It reduces anxiety, reduces stress, reduces, lowers that wall of resistance that people have. So you have to forget that even though you're comfortable in the gym because that's your environment, that's where you were born, that's where you belong, these people are afraid of our facilities, man. They're afraid of coming in and being judged and criticized and, and what if I get sore and I don't know how to keep up and how embarrassing is that and they reject me. Pre-frame. Tell them how it's going to go, that it's a no-judgment zone and you just feel them relax. There's also something called reframing, right? Reframing is once you guys are talking about getting the money, right? The money versus the value. It's called prizing. Reframing is, if you did your job right, they should see that the value of your service is worth the money that they want to give. Prizing means, prizing means that they are going, I got this money, and you have to earn it, right? If they feel that they've got this money and you have to earn it, you did not do your job in the sales process. They have to feel like, I got this money, and I'm willing to pay twice that for your service, right? That is reframing. So most consumers will come to us with, I've got money. Tell me why I should get coaching with you. How about this? Don't and continue to stay in the same place you are in your fitness business, right? I don't have to tell you why. I have enough social proof. We have a website designed to tell you why. And most of you probably already know what it is that I do for a living. I'm not going to fight for your money, man. That's the prize to you. It's not to me. It's the value that I deliver. You give me a dollar, I'm going to give you 10 to to $100 back every time, so long as you do your part, right? And so reframing means the client comes to you, or the prospect at this point says, I've got money, and I'm going to spend it on fat loss, but prove to me that you're the one. You reframe and go, you know what, we've got this amazing value, we've got an amazing culture and family here, 
a community who get results because they follow our program and make me look good. And because of that, we only take on clients who prove to us that they have the work ethic and the ability to stick to the program and follow through. Only then will we take your money to train you, Mrs. Jones. Whoa, you just reframed. Of course, there's something called future framing or forecasting. I think I heard Samantha talk about this. What I really like about future framing is whether you're a one-on-one -on -one personal trainer, group, or boot camp, it doesn't matter. As they're getting their first trial workouts in, future framing should start. So if you have a boot camp instructor who works for you and you run boot camps, and we know that this person's a prospect, as they're working out, hey, great job, Mrs. Jones. I know those push-ups seem really hard right now. Just so you know, another three to four months, they get so easy, you're going to go a lot faster and double the amount that you're doing. What did you just say? You future framed. In another three or four months, you're implying that you're going to stay, and in another three or four months, things get better, right? One-on-one -on -one client, I used to do this all the time. Because remember, I had one-on-one I had -on -one personal training gyms. 30-minute sessions, all one-on-one -on -one, um, workouts. Take Mrs. Jones out for one free workout on the floor. I'd say, give me the two body parts that you want to focus on. If I can snap my fingers, change the two body parts, what two body parts would they be? Right? And I'll go here and here, or there and there, right? Sometimes they'd do the arms. I'd say, all right, fantastic. And I'd take them on the workout floor, and I would make sure we do things that they've never done before. Because I know they went to the gym, they did the inner and outer thigh machine, they did the leg press, they did the leg extensions, and they did maybe, just maybe, if they had slightly enough confidence, they did the laying down hamstring curls because their butt was up in the air. Right? And we all know why on a hot summer day they wear their jacket around their waist. It's not because it's hot, cold outside. It's to cover up the booty. Right? We know that. And so I would take them into the room and we'd start doing the Bulgarian split squats, we'd do walking lunges, we'd do stiff legged deadlifts, all the fun stuff that we're badasses at doing. Oh, Mrs. Jones, how does this feel? Oh, I've never done this before. Why? What have you done before? I've done that in and out of thigh machine. Oh, I see. Well, that's great. Do you have a hurt back? Is there L4 and L5 fused together? Nope. Oh, then you don't need to do it. You don't need to do the inner and outer thigh machine. Your back is fine. It works, right? Yes, great. This is what you need to do. You're going to build your legs, your booty, everything faster, burn more fat, doing this. Now, guess what? I know it feels awkward right now. Right now, you feel like Bambi, who just is now starting to walk. But I promise you, 90 days from now, you'll have lost 15, maybe 20 pounds. Your body will have developed the mind-muscle connection. You're going to have tremendous balance, and I'm going to introduce you to more challenging exercises. Now, if in that moment they don't go, what do you mean three to four months from now? I haven't signed up yet. That's a good sign. I just got a mini commitment. So throughout my workout, I would constantly future frame. Just imagine a year from now the type of workouts we're going to do. Everything we did today, Mrs. Jones, we're never going to do 12 months from now. Oh, you're going to be so impressed. You're going to look like an athlete, and people are going to be like, hey, what sport do you play? Right? And again... That's future framing. Why? We want them to commit before we ever ask for the sale.